previously on Man. I love Lamborghinis. Driving cash. This is dating, actually. Getting to know friendships. And that's how you build a very good and strong relationship. I think I would def yeah, I would take it to the next level. My friend Henry didn't warn me that Claudia was going to be there. And how do you do it? Like, from one day to another? Except <laughs> later when we sat around on the table and she came around and started crossing cock. You kicked them let me up! Tell you, let me tell you how I handled you this place. You kicked them up! No, listen, listen. Our half no fury like a woman's sport. Um, a, a friend put me in touch with Hanali. It's a gorgeous little girl. I don't know if there was that much romance going on. But all like... Like that, yeah, yeah, and you can kind of like yeah. put it in there. I can already feel that I'm probably not her type. I want to know how we end up in this bathtub on our first date. No, I don't think she needed any of those little accessories to make her quite amorous. So am I going to get lucky tonight? You're going to get lucky tonight. <laughs> so how's your date been, guys? Um, what do you think so far? I, had a bit of a... I think it's getting easier, though. I think it is. I'm getting, it's like practice. For I you, think... you're like the Mac Daddy of no, the No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> just approaching. Oh, come on. You know, just approaching girls. I'm thinking. Kaiser, it is getting easier. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get some drinks. Let's sing some songs. When you do adventure stuff, you have to psych yourself up. Like, karaoke is more like, mm, I don't want to embarrass myself, uh, you know? I define adventure with risk. Requiring like guts and um, not being scared and fearlessness. Yeah. You know, singing is another thing. You know how it is, like how, how we always think that we can sing and uh, we actually suck. Jumping off the cliff, you're not embarrassing yourself. Karaoke, you guys are like, shit, dude, you suck. Getting up in front of a large audience and singing, I mean, that's an adventure. So it takes guts to do that sort of thing. I was, I'm not a shy person, and I had a decent voice when I was younger, so I've always, like, taken that little bit of confidence into, like, singing, and I'm not shy of people. We had so much fun that, you know, after a while it sounded okay. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't more inspiring or like, wow, the next idol, but, but he loves music. Generally, we get on really well. It's, you yeah. I think we're a nice group of guys together. Boot camp, I shouldn't diss them, but uh, boot camp was a couple of girls that uh, maybe later in the summer they would look a bit better, but it was maybe their winter flab, there was, and it was also five in the morning. So I'm not saying that I did so well, but I certainly wasn't exactly enamored with anybody there. Boot camp was lousy for me. It was early in the morning, funny looking girls, um, you know, <laughs> girls that were trying to get in shape. The kind of woman that go to boot camp. There's the kind of women that want to stay fit, that want to be healthy, that are driven for summer to get into those bikinis. Sometimes I'm an adventurous person, sometimes I'm a more, I'm a big pussy. I think I'm very adventurous. Definitely think I'm adventurous. I'm certainly not an adventurer. Who would be the most adventurous out of all of us? I think it would be Kaza. I would say me first. <laughs> Second, I would say Henry. Henry would only be adventurous after a few drinks. <laughs> yes, I'm an adventurer. I don't think Trevor is. Well, at least I've been told I'm adventurous. Although, once again, he might be the dark horse. Morris, on the other hand. If my alarm went off, it's a famous story. 
I sent my girlfriend into the to the entrance or to see if everything was all right. I might be the least adventurous out of all four. How are you doing? The crap thing about this morning was just waking up early. Yeah. I don't remember the last time I woke up at fucking four. Half past yeah, four. Half past four. To go and run around. To run around. But as soon as I knew that there were like a bunch of ladies that we were going to be running around with, it was okay. <laughs> all about the inspiration. <laughs> Imagine if we got there and it just balls all over. There were 40 chicks there this morning. 40 chicks. I think there were probably about six hot girls in 40. Six? Yeah. You're generous. 10%, maybe. Yeah, 10%, yeah. Very generous. Six. Look up the schmodes. There was one schmode, Morris. No, no. no the schmode was <laughs> Learn how to meet, attract, and get beautiful women. What, tell me, what do they do in that fucking. in that two lights? Are, are they hitting on women? And you watching? <laughs> what? Become a sex worthy man. You know what? <laughs> Yeah. Stop. I think it's you cheap. need that much help. Yeah. I'll give that course for free. <laughs> then you decide. You want then I'll decide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, most girls say that they like, like when I'm around girls, they always tell me there's ten to one guy, one single guy, they're either married or gay. Yes. This is what they all tell me. Yeah, so now it. there's courses for guys to get. I mean, that's why I say there's so many useless guys out there. I'm sorry to say it, but it's true. I know a lot of people like that. I know a mate of mine who only kissed his first girl uh, in, at university ever in his life. Uh. Really? Yeah. He must have shipped a lot of semen into her when he fucked her for the first time. Man. I'll give such a cause for free. I'm keen. I need a date, I think, soon. You're not going with, uh, what's the girl's name? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, she thinks I'm a reject, eh? What's I don't know. You, know, you, know, you know, she wrote to me last night, eh? She wrote to me a text, saw you in a magazine. All these things you're trying to do and you're still single, you're pretty hopeless. Did you say that? You should have just said I'm waiting for the right girl to come along. Did she actually say you you hope? No, like in a joke. So Dardan, I mean, eating oysters like a sex campaign. She's vivacious. And I thought on the second day to see, you know, what happens. You don't want anything else caught up in the lecture? Besides lecture. Well, what is the lecture? Do you think? Yeah. Okay, I oh, know it's fine. If you get anything else caught up in there? Haha. <laughs> yeah. I won't feel a thing, eh? Okay. Wait. <laughs> Isn't that classy? Scratching my ball, honey. I've been on quite a few dates in my lifetime. Never have I had a first date at the Club Apostles and a second date, which is skydiving. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes.